Hello friends, welcome back. In today's session, I am going to speak about how to rename a pluggable database. Generally, we are using the NID utility. In other term, we called it as a new ID to rename the database. But when we are working on the pluggable database, we don't need to use a NID utility. The process is quite same. Let me tell you in a theoretical way first how we are going to rename and what are all the steps to rename the pluggable database. The first thing is we need to shut down the database, pluggable database. Then we will start the database in a restricted mode so that the other users will not be able to connect to the database. Then the third thing is we will rename the database and at last we will restart the pluggable database. Let us see in a practical way so that you can also understand. Okay, let me clear the screen first. I am connecting to the SQL plus utility here. Let me check the container database name. And I am checking the PDBs as well. Here you can see the container database name is CDP. And there are three PDBs available. The first one is a seed which is a default one and it will always open in a read only mode. Second is a PDB and third one is a PDB1. What I am going to do, I will rename the PDB1 as a PDB2. Okay. So we will go to the first step. First we need to start this database, pluggable database in a restricted mode. But before that we need to shut down the pluggable database. Right. So, to shut down the pluggable database, alter pluggable database pdb1 close. Okay, it's done. I'll uh, shut down the database. Let's check the status. Show pdbs. It is now mounted here. Now we are starting this pluggable database pdb1 in a restricted mode. Alter pluggable database pdb1 open restricted. Okay, there is some typo. Sorry for that. Then the third step will be we need to rename the PDBs with the new name. I will rename this PDB1 as a PDB2. Let's check the PDB status. Okay, it is now this PDB1 is open but with the restricted. Okay, previously you have not find this restricted here, right? Now we have opened this PDB in a restricted mode okay this is an important step where we are going to rename the pdbs so the command is alter pluggable database pdb1 rename global underscore name pdb2 okay operation not allowed from outside a pluggable database let me check to whom i am connected i 
and connected with the CDB. So before that, we need to connect to the PDB. Alter database. Alter session. Set container equals to PDB one. So there are many alter set. Yes, it's missing here. Okay. Now I'm firing the same query. Alter pluggable database PDB one rename global underscore name to PDB two. Okay. Once it is done, then we need to restart our database so that the restricted mode will be stopped. It is showing as PDB is altered. Let's check. Show PDB. See here. Previously it was PDB one. Now it is showing as PDB two. But the thing is still it is in restricted mode. So we need to restart the database. Alter database and now we are going to open the database. Alter Lagable database open. Let me check the PDB status. We'll check from the root container. See here. Previously, the PDB's name was PDB one. Now we have altered it to the PDB two, and currently it is read write mode, so that the user also can connect. Because the restricted mode it is showing as no. If you are checking on the top, you will find the PDB name was PDB one. Now we have altered it to the PDB two. Let me tell you the steps again. How we have changed the PDB's name. The first thing is make sure your PDB is in closed state. If the PDB is open, then you need to shut down the database, shut down the pluggable database. Then start the PDB with the restricted mode. Okay. Then make sure you are not connected to the root container because from root container we are not able to change the PDB's name because we have also got the error message saying operation not allowed from the outside the pluggable database. So make sure you connected to the PDB's. To whom you need to change the name. So, in order to connect to the PDB one, I have used the command alter session set container equals to PDB one. Then you need to use the command alter pluggable database name old old PDB name rename to global underscore name to the PDB two. This is a new name. Then we have just closed the database because our database was open with the restricted mode. And again, we restarted our pluggable database. So this is how we can rename the pluggable database. If you have any queries, you can write mail to me. See you soon with the next video.